Hello everybody. In uh, my video number uh, 23, uh, I've tried to answer uh, these uh, three questions uh, about the get pivot data function, uh, what it is, and how to get rid of it. In uh, this video, uh, we will try to uh, give a, a reasonable uh, answer to the third uh, question. Uh, learn how to use it properly. First, we need to uh, examine uh, the anatomy of the get pivot data. And here we have it. Uh, the first argument of the get pivot data function is the data field. Uh, which corresponds to the the numbers, the column with the numbers that we track inside our values area. The second argument of the get pivot data is the pivot table itself. Uh, you can see pivot table. It's the pivot table that we create uh, when we track. Uh, columns inside the various fields uh, <coughs> of the uh, the, vari the various field, uh, and then we have these uh, two last arguments that uh, repeat itself: uh, the field value. Uh, it's uh, like the uh, the values area. Uh, it's the column uh, that we drag and the rows that we drag inside the of the of the data table that we drag inside the columns field and the rows field, and the items are the the single items that we can find inside these columns. Like in the case of the date and time column, uh, we have uh, January and February. Okay, with uh, this, uh, with those information, we can uh, proceed and uh, show you how uh, what is the power of the uh, pivot data, the get pivot data function. First, we uh, create a pivot table and we insert in it uh all the uh, the columns that we want to uh, analyze uh like the uh, the person the agent and uh, the product type uh this pivot table looks uh, really uh, really bad it's uh, it's uh, uh, it's use useless but uh, we will take advantage of the get pivot data function to obtain <coughs> this uh, well defined report. Uh, in, the, in my last video, we have unchecked the pivot, the generate get pivot data uh, option inside the, um, this menu. Uh, for for uh, uh, the purpose of that video, uh, it is better that we uh, check the option again. So Excel, every time we point uh, a formula inside the pivot table, will generate the get pivot data function automatically. So check the generate get pivot data, and we can uh, move back to our report. Uh, inside this spreadsheet, we, I have created uh, two simple uh, data validation lists with the customer type list, as you can see here, and with the product, as you can see, software, accessory, desktop, etc. Uh, okay, select <coughs> the first cell inside the repo, then we go back to the worksheet that has the pivot table and we select a cell inside the pivot table itself. Then we press enter and Excel inserts the 
uh, get pivot data function automatically. As you can see, uh, we have the uh, up to cell uh, field, which is the, the field that contains the numbers that we want to analyze. The pivot table itself, uh, which is identified by the a reference uh, that uh, of a cell that uh, it is inside the pivot table itself. Uh, it can be every cell. They don't mind uh, where where the cell is uh, is. Uh, and then we can start to uh, customize the uh, get pivot data function that uh, uh, Excel has inserted. We start with uh, uh, date uh, and time field and its uh, respectively item. We select the item that uh, Excel has uh, inserted and we point into the first row of uh, our report in this way and then we press F4 two times because we want that uh, when we, we copy the uh, formula over and down um, the reference has to move uh, through the columns but not uh, through the rows. Uh, the second customization is to uh, point the accessories inside our uh, the, the product uh, item inside our uh, data validation list up here. We press F4 to make uh, the uh, the reference absolute. Then we point uh, to the to the uh, customer type uh, field, and we select the item, and we point uh, our selection uh, inside our second data validation list. Again, we press uh, F4. Uh, to make the reference uh, absolute and then the last uh, field the agent and uh, we select it as usual uh, and we in this case press F2 to make the to end uh, to activate the enter mode and then with the uh, left arrow key we point into the first cell uh, which contains the name of the, ag the agent and uh, in this case we press F4 three times to make uh, to block uh, the column reference because when we uh, copy the formula over and down um, we want that uh, the reference has to move through the rows but not to the columns at this point, we have finished uh, customizing the get pivot data function, and we can copy it over and then down. To uh, uh, to customize to 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 make the report uh, a little uh, uh, better looking, we can uh, modify. Uh, they get this this formula and uh, with uh, inserting the if error <coughs> and in this way uh, when the the value is empty is not found uh, except inserts uh, a blank uh, okay but uh, you can ask to me uh, we have uh, Created this uh, such uh, this this complicated uh, formula here uh, uh, for what purpose? Uh, the power of this technique is uh, depends uh, on the fact that uh, your data updates uh, frequently. Uh, Let's uh, suppose that we have uh, some additional data here. We copy it and we paste it at the bottom of our data table. 
this data is uh, uh, from the uh, from the uh, the next month, the uh, March. And uh, usually, if you uh, wanna build uh, a report with the uh, the new uh, data, you have to construct a new pivot table. Uh, but with the report that we have created, uh, this is not necessary because uh, we go in, into the uh, worksheet that has the pivot table. We click inside the pivot table. We go to the pivot table uh, contextual uh, contextual tab, analyze, refresh, and as you can see, the next the values for the next month has appeared inside our pivot table. And when we go into our dummy report, we can see that the values in March are present, and we can select. Uh, what kind uh, of customer type and what kind of and every kind of product uh, that we want without constructing a new uh, report every time and this is the real power of the get pivot data function uh, you don't have to uh, create a new pivot table uh, every time your data updates but uh, uh, it is uh, uh, only required uh, that you uh, create a, a report, a shell report that uh, with the get pivot data inside it. And uh, every time your data updates, you, uh, you have, uh, you, the only thing that you have to do is to refresh the pivot table and your report, uh, it is always actual. Uh, I hope that this video uh, has been useful for you, you have enjoyed watching it and uh, I hope to see you in the next video.